So the three-tier system is what everybody's heard about uh, in the U.S. So this was developed after prohibition. It was originally intended to protect consumers, uh, but it was also a means to collect taxes in a, in a reliable and efficient manner. So you have three different tiers of the system. The first tier includes any manufacturers or suppliers that could be distilleries, wineries, breweries, anyone who's actually producing the liquid. Then you have tier two, which includes distributors, uh, control state authorities. It's really the wholesale, wholesale tier. Then you have tier three, which includes retailers, all types of retailers, whether they're on trade, off trade, hotels, restaurants, bars, liquor stores. And those are the ones to get it to the final end consumer. And no business can be involved in more than one of those tiers. So you have the producer, the wholesaler, and then the retailer. And taxes are taken out both between tier one and tier two, um, as well as selling it to the consumer. So the federal excise tax is usually paid upon import or whenever a product is moved from a, removed from a bonded facility. State excise tax is paid normally in the majority of markets once a distributor sells it to the retailer. And then, of course, uh, sales tax is, is paid by the consumer. And this really, this whole system really acts as a system of checks and balances in the alcohol industry. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel and watch the next videos in this series on navigating the U.S. beverage alcohol market.